This is why so, I only watch comedy. See, but I hate comedy. This is the problem. I can I can't watch stand up except for yours. I love yours. Good save. You really got it. I've told you that before you though. Really I've saved told you. it. Welcome to Wine About It. Oh, oh yours something. was a really sad horn. <laughs> it was a sad horn? <laughs> it sounded like a sad, broken clown horn. That oh, was my best. Mm. That makes it more okay. sad. Dude. Welcome to Wine About It. I always make fun of my nephew. He's nine months old because he's got a big ass head. Yeah. And then today, you know, when they come out, their heads are like cones. You ever heard of that? Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Today, my sister-in-law texts our group chat and she's like, the baby has to go get an ultrasound tomorrow because his head's so big. And I was like, oh, wait, that's scary. I know. And here I've been making fun of his bobblehead. That's really mean. I know. <laughs> that's really sad. So that sucks for me. I have learned not to make fun of kids. Why? Because they don't think it's funny. My favorite hobby. They don't get it. I've I used to teach a uh, first grade class for summer camp, summer school, mm -hmm. three weeks every summer. Um, I had first graders, and it took me like two years to fully stop being sarcastic around them because they just do not have the capacity to understand. I uh, I had a very nice teaching moment at my it was my niece's birthday over the weekend yeah me having to be okay. the teacher and they sit down pizza party and my niece rips all the cheese off her freaking pizza and she just starts eating it she doesn't like cheese on her pizza she just likes the sauce and the bread she's like brooke okay and so whatever she lives her best life and then the girl sitting next to her goes ew you're weird and she goes, I'm not weird. And she goes, you're gross. And then I chime in. And I said, listen up, Elizabeth. I said, do you like do you like ranch? And she was like, yeah, I love ranch. And I was like, well, I don't like it. Does that mean you're gross? And she was like, no, it means I like ranch. And I was like, exactly. She just likes her pizza like that. Isn't it mean when we call people gross and weird? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, in your face. Wow. Stupid ass. And then I called her a bitch you're and I dabbed a... on her. No, you didn't. Did. But you're such a teacher. I know. Wow. So, so maternal. So, so. Don't call my weird niece weird. To the other, to the brat. Not when you. did I do that? Not you, the girl who called her weird. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. What? When did you I You can say call her that? weird. You're an adult. Okay. I thought you were me. Um, She's not going to watch yeah, this. Yeah. Kids don't get, kids don't get sarcasm. And. They're not f actually kids can be really funny. Um, I take that back. I had an inside joke with my nephew who is one and a half, I think. I swear. Uh huh. Isn't that crazy? What was he, it? Over Thanksgiving, over Thanksgiving, I showed him a picture of a cookie cutter and I said, I said, say cookie cutter, and he would go, cookie cutter. And I thought it was so funny the way he said it. And then for the next several days, which I didn't know that they could, <laughs> I didn't know that they could remember for that long, but he would like be sitting playing and then he would say cookie cutter and he would just look at me like he would like side eye me and like wait for me to laugh. <laughs> I was like, wait, you're funny. Wait, he's amazing. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was really funny. But he's like a whole baby. Like he still sucks on a pacifier and stuff. Damn. Like no hair baby. Okay. He has hair. But he's got he's got the he's got the jokes he's got the jangles yeah he's gonna be a comedian that's crazy um I've had a really existential day oh great what is it <laughs> I'm depressed oh my god that's so funny because I was laying on the bed today Ludwig left he left me um I saw his Instagram story yeah he's gone again yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but. I was laying on the bed and before he left, I was like, I am having a, I feel lame. And he was like, lame as in like tired and sick or lame like you're a loser. And I was like, I am a loser. Oh no. And he was like, why? And I was like, I'm just a loser today. I just feel like one. Oh. So I get that's it. That's sad. Same, same, but different. Well, mine is not about myself. <laughs> Great. Okay. I 
have been consuming too much media. Oh, um, I think is my issue. Yeah. I looked at Twitter and I saw this video of uh some kids beating up beating someone up. They're not kids, they're like teenagers, but like I hate watching fighting and I yeah. but it's one of those like train wreck things where like you can't really look away. It's just like, oh my god, like what's happening? But then I just like felt sick after. So I like went on Twitter, saw that, switched to from my for you page to my following page, because stay away from your for you page on Twitter. Yeah. But then went to my following page and clicked on a post, and there are like five porn bots, which are a, a serious problem, yeah, by the way. Someone's got to talk to the porn bots to cool it down. Someone needs to talk to those bots. I, it's not, Twitter is not usable in public anymore. Dude. Like, it's actually not safe for work. <sighs> Twitter is like pissing me off because Twitter was my number one way to communicate with, it's my largest audience that actively consumes. And so it's my best way to communicate with people like, hey, this is coming up, but now it's, I don't even want to use it. It's impossible to use. Yeah, it sucks. Um, so I saw bots on Twitter and then I saw like hate comments on Twitter and I was like, all right, this is, this is no good. So then I went to TikTok, started watching some TikToks and someone's getting canceled on, m several people are getting canceled on TikTok for just awful stuff. And I was like, okay, damn, I need to get off of those. Last night I watched the finale of The Golden Bachelor, which- oh. I'm happy to tell you about. I need to watch it. It, it broke me. <gasps> okay. Sad. So, like, so I was really sad after watching The Golden Bachelor. I was like, this is not fun. If you guys don't watch. know what this The Golden not, like, Bachelor ooh. is, it's The Bachelor, but with old people. It was not like, ooh, like this is good drama. Like, uh, it was like, oh my God, like this is so sad. Oh. So I was just so sad. And I was like, you know what? I'm watching too much reality TV is the problem because they're they're real people and it makes me actually sad. And I'm consuming too much media. And I was like, all right, how about I just watch a normal TV show? I like having things on when I'm doing stuff. Otherwise, I lose my mind. So I was like, I'm going to watch a normal TV show that's scripted. So then they're just actors. So it won't be as bad. And I picked this show of this woman who like went to jail. Jeez. And the, it was awful. And the, in, the, in that one, in the first episode, there was fights and stabbing and rape and manipulation and i was just like okay this is why so, i only watch comedy see but i hate comedy this is the problem i can i can't watch stand-up except for yours i love yours good save you really got it <laughs> i've told you that before you though really i've saved told you it. <laughs> I can't, it's not for me i can't do it dude Ludwig and I started watching Survivor. You could be Survivor with us. Squeaks converted us. What is that? It's actually is pretty that, good. When, what do they do? It's you get 16 people, I believe. They throw them on an island. They don't like they have to like earn their food. They have to build their shelters. All the girls armpits get really hairy. Um, and then you vote someone off the island each week. Why are you making that face? It's in a Billie Eilish song. She says, I put on Survivor just to watch somebody suffer. Damn, my queen. <laughs> Wait, so it's sad. And no, they it's suffer. really not sad. They manipulate each other. There's oh. just drama. And also they bl I don't want drama. They blindside each other. But it's like it's like meaningless drama. It's like not real. Like they like get eliminated off an island and they go home to where they should be happier anyway. I guess. I don't know. I just I'm having like it's just too much negative stuff. Yeah. And I, I'm just like, man, everybody sucks. Like, everything sucks. Like, mm -hmm. everything that people want to consume is is bad and sad and sucks. And I don't want to be a human. I want to be something else. You should turn on Hassan's stream. <laughs> no. I don't know how he does it. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how he does it either. We've talked about this multiple times. I, I don't know how he does it. I texted it. Hassan today and he didn't reply to me. Drama. That's drama. I said... Hey, will you be the Grinch in the Christmas play? <laughs> and nothing back. And he didn't. Can you believe? Yeah, I don't think he wants to do it. The audacity. Well, I don't I don't know if he gets a choice, if I'm being honest with you. That's fair. It's him or Preza. He would be a really bad Grinch. Be, I think Will Neff would be a really good Grinch. Will Neff, Will Neff is good at everything. That's true. That's true. Ludwig's doing a dodgeball tournament. And I was on the phone with Will today and Ludwig brought up the dodgeball tournament and Will isn't invited to participate in the dodgeball tournament for obvious reasons Rom. because he could murder someone with a dodgeball. He also is outrageously competitive. Like it scares me. 
If you were on the other team, he'd pick you up. You would be his dodgeball, and he'd throw you. Yeah, and he would throw me. <laughs> you'd be like, I'm, I, I'm. Will's very competitive. It's it's a lot. It is just like I, I got off. It, we got off the phone, and I was like, "Why isn't Will at dodgeball?" And it's like, "Oh yeah, because quite literally, it, it would just the game would just be over. You would just know who would win. It would whatever team Will yeah, was on." I hate dodgeball. I hate dodgeball. I hate you dodgeball too, but I'm on team podcast representing us. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Oh, you're talking about what dodgeball is it? OTV? No, it's Ludwig. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Exciting. Ludwig block. drama. Hey, we, we keep up to date on the news. Uh, it's my boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> Ludwig <laughs> announced his YouTube contract was up. And he re-signed. But they're allowing him to stream his events on Twitch. So kind of cool. So Twitch dodgeball. Yeah, and his first event is uh it's like the platform dodgeball with 30 different creators. So six teams of five. So I don't know how many games of dodgeball we're freaking playing. But that sounds like a dude, that's a lot. What are the balls? I, the soft ones. Okay. I think. Boring. <laughs> I think they should have spikes. Spikes, <laughs> spikes on them. Um, Metal balls. It's team Twitch, team. YouTube, Team Kick, Team Facebook, Team Podcast, and then Team Chess Boxing since Chess Boxing got canceled. Wow. But I'm I'm representing our podcast on Team Podcast. Playing alongside of me is Austin representing the Fear and Podcast. Never heard of him. <laughs> um Ted representing Chuckle Sand Sand Bitches. And then Nick representing the yard, and then I actually don't know who our last one is. Oh, Aiden. Uh. Duh. <laughs> Slime is on Team Chess Boxing, so he's not on podcast team. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. When is it? Sunday. Oh, shit. I've not practiced. Coming up. But if, if you need to I win, start working out. Well, I don't want to. Oh. I think, I, I think I'll okay. do a lot for our podcast if I win, though. Thank you. I think it'll really I'll support you get people over here. Virtually. Um do you want to hear about the Golden Bachelor? Or do you not want me to spoil no, it? No, you tell you? me. Um chances of me actually watching it are slim. Okay. I'm gonna spoil it, so don't so if you haven't seen it. Plug your freaking ears if you love plug your it. freaking ears. Um, okay, so first of all, I would like to discuss how whack the concept of the bachelor and the bachelorette are. Okay, not true. <laughs> What? <laughs> Can you without the bachelor be... or the bachelor the bachelor and the bachelorette are the hunger games of our time. Yes, without them society love them, would but perish. the concept is what Okay, that's not true. <laughs> we all Do you need, being we need communal watching of other people dating otherwise it'll lead to chaos. Okay. So take it back. Uh, it's not whack. I disagree. It's but important to society. Can you imagine being on the bachelor? Dude. Can you imagine? What there's like ten women or some twelve, I don't know, and you're all going for one guy. Also, is it really possible that every single one of those women likes that guy? No. No. Okay. But you want there's also like, okay, say so if you don't like a guy, you still want to win. Yeah, but or, the word is marriage. <laughs> sometimes there's so like, like the glow effect of like he is on a fucking pedestal and there's twenty women clearly right, like lusting and you're after just him. Like, you're like, so you want to just be like top top dog? It's like me. I'm like, I guess I'm attracted to Timothy Chalamet. I'm not. Me neither. Oh. <laughs> but like all the other girlies say he's so hot. So I'm like, I, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think there's. It seems like there's a wave of liking like stylish boys, <laughs> feminine. Slim, stylish okay, boys. You don't know twinks, rings, to say TikTok, straight twinks, strings, Curly hair? strings. Mm -hmm. Do we just make like a slur? <laughs> it's not a slur unless like we make it. it one. Okay, it's not. We made strings it. Strings is not. <laughs> not a slur. It's a positive. Okay. Um, but the concept of the Bachelor is insane. I I cannot imagine, 
going after a guy knowing that he's got that many options and he's pursuing all of them at the same Dude. time. I would be so mad. You know, I, at one point in my life, was going to try out for The Bachelor. I loved the it. The Bachelor or The bach the Bachelor? Bachelor. You wanted to go. To be one of the girls. There. But you want to hear the crazy thing? So, okay, uh -huh. so my mom loved The Bachelor. I didn't get into it until, like, much later in life. And by saying was going to try out, was looking into it out of kicks and gigs so i'm being dramatic here essentially there were commercials that were like hey casting in your area now on thursday and i was yeah. like what the heck and i knew a bunch of girls that were going that something and i was like i was like well let's just see what it's all about you know i was actually in a relationship at the time so i wasn't actually gonna try out but i was like let's see what it's oh my about God, it's rom you're micro cheating <laughs> i'm not because my boyfriend and i would watch <laughs> the bachelor my, together if my boyfriend went to check out casting for the bachelorette i would be like you <laughs> cheating whore okay but i am more trustworthy than your boyfriend <laughs> oh my god okay drama so you did your boyfriend know that you were looking yes. at it okay my boyfriend same. was like like we were sitting there with my boyfriend and i was like oh my gosh i think sarah's doing this and he was like that's so crazy you should check it out okay maybe he didn't like me you're not micro cheating <laughs> no it was more like this is crazy thing i wonder what the requirements are so I show up to the casting location with a friend that was actually doing it. And they have this big chunk of packets to fill out. And I feel like I only remember the first page, but you had to put your body measurement into it. And I was like, I'm freaking out. I was like, see you later, Sarah. Have fun. And I left. Well, I wasn't going to try out anyway. I was just going to like get the tea. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Casting. You reminded me, I told you this. What? You guys know how I said I've been watching Married at First Sight, which is the show <gasps> where people apply and then they get married at the altar, like married at first sight, I don't know. Um, I did see casting, they, they put like clips of casting in this reel at the, at the finale of this one season that I'm watching. And there was a girl and she was talking and in the B-roll, it's her like, like kind of like spinning around on the camera. And I was like, why would you guys self-report like that? You <gasps> asked them all to like show their whole body. Oh, like on camera. God. Cause it was not a natural, like, woo, here yeah, it was, it was like, like her like spinning her, around. Yeah. yeah. So I think they're probably, yeah, I think they probably do that too. Of course. Nuts. But it's gross. Um, but okay, actual drama, actual this real life crazy drama. crazy drama reporting in. Apparently these people that cast for these shows in the city that they're in, the next one is being, it's in Austin. So I would She's like leaking. to recommend that streamers apply. Yeah, that'd be funny. For Married at First Sight. Yeah. It'd actually be really messed up if they did that. Just like for content, that'd be really mean. Um, but thousands of people apply. I thought it was a popular enough show where like they don't have to whatever, but they are like casting from LinkedIn. They sent my boyfriend. Yeah, we're gonna cancel them. A DM! <laughs> and that's micro-cheating that he opened it. It's micro-cheating that he opened it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me find it. I'm going to read it. I can't believe they're... Ca it's so, it seems so desperate to, like, reach out to randoms in that city on LinkedIn. Yeah. I okay. think because they probably have a lot of clout chasers now. That is a really great point. They want to find normal people that don't know what the show yeah. is that, like, actually might want to find love. They don't want people to just come out to the auditions and be like here i am like this is my chance yeah to be a star they said i'm a tv casting producer for married at first sight not sure if you're single because linkedin doesn't have relationship like status and fit. they need to change that <laughs> while married at first sight is a unique way to find love our experts carefully match couples based on compatibility if you're interested visit this link so anyway my boyfriend's gonna be on married at first sight dude that's so sick Anyway, okay, back to The Bachelor. Sorry. <laughs> back to The Bachelor. Um, I would never be on The Bachelor. I could not do it. I would hate that man. I would hate him. I would think he was a slimy, grimy. I would do it to play the game. Ball. Genuinely. Okay, that's really crazy. I would do. I would. I would do it for Why my own Why would you play with love like that? Huh? Why would you play with love like that? Well, think of they're all there just trying to find love. Love or host. <laughs> that's different they're not trying to find love i know but no one's actually trying like it's all you know like it's it's all just for fun i think i don't think so like think two people, people have ever gotten married bachelor, from the bachelor i think a lot of them are still together no i'm googling no way 
How many people are still together from The Bachelor The Bachelor? I feel like it's a lot, no? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever watched The Bachelor, actually. Or The Bachelorette. I think I've only watched The Golden Bachelor. Okay. I just understand. I know there are what it is. 27 seasons of The Bachelor with five couples still together. Ooh, those are bad stats. Yeah. That's not good. The Bachelorette has had 19 seasons and four couples are still together. Hold. Married at First Sight, 15 couples are still together. Look at how many seasons do they have? This says this says the two franchises have a combined success rate of 19%. That's bad. That's bad. But I don't know Married at First Sight. They have 15 couples that are still together. How many seasons are there? How do you know that there's... Because they said it today on the finale. What is the success rate of married at first? It was like marriage counseling that said... Uh-uh. It says, in order for the series to be considered a success, the percentage of couples that do stay married would be slightly higher than the national divorce rate, which is 40 to 50%. Married at First Sight, current success rate is only at 17%. It's, yeah, 85 couples, 15 still together. Yeah. That's so The Bachelor is more successful. successful than Married at First Sight. Okay, well, let's talk about The Golden Bachelor. The Golden Bachelor is... um. Older people, so like 65 to 75, maybe? People that are looking for love in their older age. The Golden Bachelor, Gary, uh, he lost, his wife died. He was with her, it was a high school sweetheart, with her for like a very long time. She passed away. Dude, so I would be got, like, pissed kids if I died. As his wife? <laughs> yeah, I'm in my freaking grave and I'm watching my, my man's whore himself out, you little bitch. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't I have no idea. Maybe it's something. Maybe it's a theory. Maybe it's a theoretical that they discussed before The Golden Bachelor was a show concept. Maybe they're like, what if? Everybody I call your SO and have this conversation now. Yeah. Ludwig be damned. If he went on The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. After they yeah. they were probably together for like 50 years. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. I'm Googling Um, it. Not 50. Maybe like 40. Anyway. He lost his wife, so he goes on the show, and there's a bunch of women that are looking for love in their older age, and they're all looking for love in Gary. He is handsome. Okay? He seems like a nice guy, whatever, but I'm going to jump to the end, and I'm going to spoil it for you, and I'm going to tell you why I was devastated. Okay. Plug your okay. ears if you don't want this so, one. Spoiler. We're down to two women, okay? Teresa and Leslie. Okay. Teresa... Uh, also was with her high school sweetheart and with for like 40 something years and he passed away. Oh. So like they yeah, they they bond over the uh okay. them both being widows. Um and then there's Leslie. Leslie has been married twice, divorced twice because her husband, if not both of her husbands, have cheated on her. Oh. Damn. Can you imagine Going on The Bachelor when you've been cheated on? Yeah, that's not good for your psyche. And you're and you're sitting there and you know after you kiss this man that he's going to go literally kiss 10 other yeah. women, but you know it's happening? That's why you go on The Bachelor as the content pick. I remember the last yeah. season I watched The Bachelor was like the one with Corinna. I don't know if you any Bachelor fans. Her name was Corinna and she was like oh. so fucking funny. And everyone hated her. And I love the idea oh, of no. going on and being the one everyone hates and then coming home and be like, why does everyone hate me? <laughs> <laughs> um, it seemed like they were all pretty, I mean, for, for reality TV, they all seem pretty genuine. Aww. At least because they're older. I don't know. Yeah. But it's down to these two women, right? One that lost her husband and one that's been cheated on multiple Sad. times. And he tells Leslie, the one who's been cheated on, he was like, you're the one. He was like, I love you. It's gonna, it's me and you, baby, forever, right? He tells her these, these things. 12 hours later, after he went on his final date with Teresa, he told Leslie, I'm giving the final rose to Teresa. <sighs> he was like, I'm choosing her. And then Leslie, poor Leslie, breaks down crying. And I don't mean like pretty crying. <sighs> I mean, she is bawling 
and she's devastated and she was like no one ever chooses me like it's always the other woman and i was like who let this poor woman on this show if you wanted to go on the bachelor because i know you've been cheated on i would be like absolutely not i would go to play (laughs) let me in the ring that no i want to go for love Okay, that's different. If you told me that's why you were doing it, I'd go I'd for the like, brand deals. Sugar bear chewy gummies okay. for your hair. <laughs> Bloom. Or yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, I don't want to no, go on I, it. For the just, record, I don't want to go It was so devastating. And she was like, she was crying so much. And she was like, everything you said to me was a lie. I just, I can't believe, I cannot imagine being someone that was cheated on, having someone say those things to my face. Sad. You know, like say those things to my face, knowing the whole time that they were with someone else. And then at the end, them choosing that person when you've been cheated. I, I just like is such a I don't know how you recover. If you recover, I could not. I'm looking personally. at the photo from the first night and there's one woman just in a tracksuit. Why? What was that choice? Oh, my God, that was so funny. Why did she do that? Everyone else she is in was gowns. Somebody's no, 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 no. She was somebody's like aunt or something or like somebody, someone that worked. That, maybe the host was related to her oh she was like somebody's aunt or i don't know and she's just like a bachelor fan and she went on there straight just trolling like she went on there as a joke she was like hey guys what's up and then she left oh okay yeah it was good that's awesome um teresa the one that won when she came to the show for the first time she came up in a trench coat to gary and then she was like i want you to know all of me and ripped it off like this she was but naked? she was wearing a dress. No. But the edits made it seem like she was naked. Damn. But she wasn't. Teresa, kind of lame for pretending. See, if I was on, That's I would have... That's what he likes. <laughs> I would have done the content. Dude, also, the footage being there of him, like, cheating on you. Yeah, you can't... You, know? you can't actually... There's no... It's like Jersey Shore. There's no... You can't fall in love on The Bachelor. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh my god, it's so sad. That's actually I wonder. I wonder right now if I could like find the bachelor the bachelor application. Let's see if I can find it. The, it is a bachelor next. Casting His name application. Is Joey. Apply. No, they already did it. Tell us about yourself. Height, weight, do you have children married before op- application? What's the what is the next big city near you? How far is it? Have you applied to the bachelor before? If yes, when? Have you ever attended a bachelor casting? If yes, when? Oh, this isn't like the, this was like the one that was going on. It was like in, it was like in your city open casting call. This must, this looks like, oh, Mm. please complete this application to bring with you. Oh, I found it. (gasps) I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Let's apply together. (laughs) Do you have a nickname? Where does it come from? Um, Working fall time. It asks your salary. Highest level of application. Uh, what did you study and which degrees did you earn? Wait, earn? highest level of what? Highest edu- highest level of education. Got it. Schools attended, uh, legal resident. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? Siblings, how old are they? <laughs> Have you ever been arrested, charged, or convicted of a crime? That makes sense. Okay. Have you ever had a temporary restraining order issued against someone or had one issued against you? That's a great question. Have you ever that filed for bankruptcy? That. Have you ever auditioned for or been a performer, participant, or contestant on a reality show? That makes sense. D- yeah. Do you drink? What's your favorite drink? Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, have you ever been married or engaged? Least List how many times and wedding dates. Do you have children? List their names. Are you genuinely looking to get married? And why? And it gives you one line to fill that out. Why would you want to find your spouse on a TV show? It gives you two lines. Please describe your ideal mate in terms of physical attraction, personality. What is most important, attraction or personality? How many serious relationships have you been in? What happened to end those relationships? Have you ever participated Damn. in online or social media dating? Uh, do you have any pets? Special talents? Languages? Three adjectives that would surprise people about you. What are yours, Maya? promiscuous oh (laughs) mine is mine is Um, bitchy slutty and cunty okay take me take me bachelor put me on please i don't like it um 
three surprising adjectives adjectives yeah. about me. Um cry. Is there an adjective for being an easy crier? Sensitive? Sensitive. Um <laughs> tearful. <laughs> Sensitive. Uh uh Oh, maybe emotional. Emotional. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like I don't know if anything would surprise people. All applicants must be single. To qualify as single, applicant must not be currently involved in a committed intimate relationship. <laughs> they do this whole application, they're like, Fuck. They're like, damn it. <laughs> Dude, this one doesn't have body measurements, but I swear to God, the one I saw, it was like your waist, your arms, your it was crazy. You can nominate someone for the Golden Bachelor now. If you have like a grandma or something, you wanna. I'm just gonna cause drama grandma. in my dad's relationship. <laughs> you nominate someone, and then their spouse sees a response, and they're like, "What is this?" And they're they genuinely don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what I want to do. Um. Yeah. No. I. I. That's sad I though. Could. Should we get Leslie on the pod? Yeah. Give her a call. I wonder, what she, I wonder if I could find her. On Instagram? On Instagram. I wonder what she's doing. Leslie. DM her. Hey, Leslie. Golden Bachelor. Do you want to talk to me publicly? I found a golden retriever named Leslie. Oh, well, that's exciting. Um, I got nothing. Damn it. Well, dreams are ruined, um, I suppose. Does she not have an Instagram? Sometimes you have to Google Leslie from Golden Bachelor. Leslie Golden Bachelor social media. Social media. Thank you, Space. Oh, I found her. 65.5K. Interesting, interesting. She has a picture she posted with him not that long ago. Sad. Ooh, what? She has lots of pictures That's she weird. posted with him. Because I think you have to actively, That's like, shocking. you need to actively be posting, like, like, you know, like, you're still on the show, like, you what don't know the, the answer. What the heck? How weird. Oh, my God. She's so, so sad. She's so cute, though. She's really pretty. My God. What a dream. I, you post pictures with an ex, they go into the archive. That's what I do. I delete. I delete. There's no going back, baby. Or you can delete them. No going back. I have several X's in the archive. <clears throat> well, that's crazy. Dark, that's sad. Void. Anyway, I'm sorry that we've talked so much about reality TV. I've been watching way too much reality yeah, TV you need lately. A new I think hobby. it's really bad for your brain. Yeah, I I really do. I need to get out of it because it's making me hate people, which is not good. Hey, question. Hmm. How did Vincent Van Gogh die? I don't know. What? Really? No. It's supposed to be like general Did knowledge that he died of a suicide. Okay, then I guess correctly. I guess I do know. You didn't guess. I did. What? <laughs> I said, did he kill himself? Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Me looking around? What, what? <laughs> like, where did where, where she? she guess? Yeah, so ever, apparently it's like general knowledge that he killed himself, but there's also like a conspiracy that he was like oh, shot. Oh, boy. He didn't kill himself. By like kids playing with a gun or something. Oh my god! I know, awful. and it was like a shot to his tum tum, and then like his brother was like, "Yeah, no, he was happy, and he had just bought new pencils, so why would he kill himself?" Well, if you buy pencils, okay. you don't kill yourself. Okay, save. It's legally blonde. Life hack. Happy people don't kill other people. <laughs> that, what? If you work out, you're happy. Have never you never seen, seen Legally Blonde? No. Maya. I'm sorry. We have to add it to the list. I'm sorry. Our Patreon, we were supposed to react to 500 Days of Summer, Mean Girls, and Legally Blonde. Oh. Okay. Now. Now Legally Blonde. You mm. haven't seen Mean Girls, right? Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that was on the list. It was Mean Girls and 500 Days of Summer. I don't think so. We'll do it someday. Um, We'll do it someday. Don't you guys, don't you worry. I feel like I know, I know enough about Mean Girls, though, to feel like I've seen the No, movie. you don't. 
Yeah, I know their names. I know there's Regina, and I know there's Katie. And? Gretchen. And? Brittany. This is why you don't get along with women. What? <laughs> You've never seen Mean Girls. It's Mean, mean Girls, girls is a show same? for girls, girls? I feel like it's about mean girls. No. no? Is it uplifting? Yes. Oh. I thought end. it was just drum. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> what, I'm ready. It's as important to, to society. Mean that? Girls is as important to society as The Bachelor is. Without Mean Girls, there's chaos. I think Mean Girls is probably more important to society than The Bachelor. Okay, I'll take that. But I don't know. Um, you know what movie was really good is Freaky Friday. That's also Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan really had her moment in the sun. Yeah, she killed it. Um. I've told you this story, but I was saving it. I was saving it to the podcast, but you have to react like it's the first time you've ever heard it. Okay. 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 Because I want to know if the mass audience would react the same way that I reacted. Okay. Okay. So listen up. You're home alone. Okay. It's a freaking, it's a freaking Thursday night. Oh. Okay. Ooh. It's a Thursday night. Your your dog's having tummy trouble, but your boyfriend your boyfriend and you got invited to a party, but your dog's having tummy trouble, so you're like, I'm gonna stay home. You go to the party, because one of us needs to show up. We gotta like, you know, he's we care about these people. So so he he leaves. Great, so I'm sitting here. And it's his fault. I'm making my dog some chicken because his tummy hurts. Making him some chicken, living my best life. I I check. I check my boyfriend's location. I see that he is uh he has reached it to the party safely and I'm like good. And it's like it's like midnight now. And I'm sitting in my living room, my phone's at 1% and I'm watching TikToks. And I say to myself, when my phone Don't do this. What? Don't let your phone die. Guys, just try to not let it die ever. It's not safe for your phone to die. You should have access to a device to call for help if something happens. I don't know why okay, she's bringing just, that just up. A, it's just a PSA. I'm just saying it would have really helped in this story if your phone was not dead. Anyway, so I tell myself, because I'm watching TikToks, I'm like, okay, when my phone dies, because it's at 1%, that is when I will cut myself off from TikTok. And that is when I will decide what to do next. So I'm sitting there. Phone dies. I grab it. I set it on my chest because I'm sitting on the couch and I look at the ceiling and I'm thinking to myself, should I just go to bed? Should I find the remote and watch some TV? I'm not sure. All of a sudden I hear a loud noise and like, it's like a and a ring door open. And I'm like, That's not what she said. She wasn't like, oh, shit. She no. was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. She went into labor. She, I went into labor. And I was like, now what am I going to do with this baby? Um, <laughs> no. So I, I freeze and I sit there for a few seconds and I'm doing the math. And I'm like, okay, it's like 1220 now. So Ludwig couldn't be home from where he was. That's not Ludwig. And then I'm like shit shit like this is like shit shit and so then i plug my phone in because <laughs> crazily enough there was a charger within arm's reach i was just trying to use when my phone died as a cutoff don't do that to get off tiktok holy shit. i shouldn't go on tiktok so so then i stand up i do what you should do and i grab a hammer <laughs> there was just a hammer it's a coincidental hammer it's my safety hammer that i keep readily available yep. at all times yeah. There was a hammer because I was crafting earlier and there was a, a hammer readily available. So I grab this hammer and I sit there and I'm listening. I'm looking at my phone that's charge, charging and it's not enough to turn on. And I'm like, and I hear more noises. Granted, it was a windy day. But regardless, it sounds like someone in the fucking house, like genuinely. Mm -hmm. And the alarm system went door open. So what are you supposed to think? Okay. No, I mean you think someone. You think someone's in the house. Hundred percent. And so I'm like, yes. shit, shit, shit. I run to my PC, and I tell Ludwig call nine one one, and then I run back, 
and I grab my phone and the charger and I run outside of the house the whole time avoiding the door that I think the person entered in like very much so like planning this I enter out the house I try to hit the panic because I have a panic button but I'm shaking too much to hit the panic button and I'm like I just want to get out of the house so I get out of the house I run to my neighbors I ring the doorbell bitches don't answer they hate me <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot um and then I'm like I I'm like looking around for a plug outside not enough plugs outside in the world we should fix that mm -hmm. um and I have this hammer and I'm debating breaking my car window because I know I have a charging pack in my car. And I'm like, Shit. you know, like, oh, uh, what am I going to do? So I squeeze my phone as a last ditch effort to see if it got any juice. And just enough, it turns back on to 1%. And I'm like, yes. So I go to the alarm system. I hit the panic button on my alarm system because I have it on my phone. It's like really quick. And then helicopters show up. Police officers show up the whole nine yards I, i'm trying to get a hold of ludwig but he uh he drives a motorcycle so he can't really answer because he needs instructions on how to get home and that's the only way to get home is via his phone so then i call maya crying my eyes out i'm Dude, sobbing this is it this is it what like three in the morning three thirty in the morning or something for me and she called me and i picked up and she's i I don't know if I've ever heard you cry like that. I was so afraid. I don't think I have. Yeah. And it was terrible, too. Let me just not. I, I'm not going to judge you for how you handled the situation because it was very scary. But from my perspective, uh -huh. Cutie calls me hyperventilating, crying. It's so scary. There's someone in the house. There's someone in my house. And then I was like, well, who's in your house? Like, what's going on? Who? Where's where's Ludwig? Like, wh whatever. And she was like, Ludwig's calling me. And she hung up. <laughs> And then, and then I text her and I was like, are you safe? What's going on? I hear nothing from you for like almost an hour. My phone died hour. again. Yeah, because her phone was dead. I didn't hear from her for almost an hour. <laughs> like, and I was like, she's dead. I was like, this bitch is dead. She's gone. So no, we can never go on The Bachelor because she died. Dude. Yeah, it was a lot. Well, I was stressed because my was, pets are in the house. They're in the house. Yeah. And I'm like, if I was a robber, I would steal those cute little kitty cats. That's not what they're there for. Maybe. Coots has a good social media following. Coots is very fast. Yeah. Coots, I couldn't. <laughs> I can't even catch Coots. I don't know. You how couldn't. They're... Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. So I'm outside. Call my crying. Ludwig finally calls me back. And then that's when I learned he can't really talk because he's on a motorcycle. Phone dies. And I'm like... <laughs> back to where I was, but now there's police officers there and they're like going, you know, they're going through the house and I keep begging them. And I'm like, please, if you guys have never had police officers go through your house, they leave all your doors open so your animals can get yeah. outside. And so I, it's yeah. adding to my hysteria where I'm like, please don't let like these things, these little furry creatures are my everything. Like I would mm -hmm. give up my career for them. I would give up, I would give up anything for them i love them so much i can't even like it's the yeah. only thing i really can well of course ludwig and maya i care so much but like <laughs> i love them so much like i've i've known swift for 12 years like mm -hmm. creepy my burner phone just went off yeah, what? it tells i need to she record wine crimes. about it it's telling me because oh. I have wine about it in my calendar set for every Monday night, but sometimes it changes and it's telling me I have to record wine about it. So thank you, phone, for that reminder. Anyway, that's my that's my vlog phone. Um. Anyway, so I'm freaking out. I'm talking to the cops. I'm like, please, 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 like, don't let the animals get out. And they're like, ma'am, we're worried about a human being in your house. Like, you've got to chill. Yeah, I'm like, okay, there. that's fine. Like. You know, and they come out, they're like, okay, we don't see anything in the house, but the helicopter is picking up a heat signal in the backyard. And so I'm like, terrifying. And so then Lud gets there and they're like, we need you guys to stand over here because we need to go to the backyard. And then they're like, oh, we think the heat source is in your neighbor's yard now. Uh, so we think the things on, on the move, the person or the animal, because they're like, maybe it's a coyote, maybe it's a person. We not, we're not really sure. It's just a heat source that's moving. And then they're like, heat source is gone maybe it was like 
you know, like air conditioning equipment has heat, like heat source and maybe yours to theirs. Like it like j looked like it jumped plus the helicopter goes in circles. So like, or maybe the person just ran away. We don't know. We don't know. Good luck. And you're like, okay. So then we walk through the house with the police officers and there is no, none of the doors are open. None of the windows are open. And now yeah. I'm a crazy girl. No. <laughs> so, no well that is the first thing you said to me and you were like i just feel bad like i feel like i look crazy and i was like what because <laughs> then no my phone as soon as i get in there i plug in my phone as we're walking in with the police and then i go and i check our security system and it doesn't show any proof of bring door open yeah this is the this is the yeah this was the issue so i talked to my therapist the next day and i'm like do i have schizophrenia and she's like no, she gave me all these reasons why I don't. I was like, okay, I believe you, I guess. Um, but do you want to hear closure to all of this that I haven't told you? Yeah. So I have the security company out of my house because I was adding more cameras because now I'm just more paranoid and adding more panic buttons. I have a panic button in every room now, so mm -hmm. cool. Perfect. Um, but he walks over to this door that, and it's the door that I thought it was. And he goes, okay. oh, the sensor's loose on this door. We need to change this. I told you. The first thing I said, I was like, is it windy? And it just kind of like, like pushed open, but didn't actually open the door. Yeah, but the doors were locked. I didn't know how that was possible. Oh. But he, so. That's so, sick. And when I called them, they're like, no, we don't see any like sensor. We don't see anything. But then when he physically came in person, he's like, oh, this is misaligned. Yeah. But then it still didn't show up in the app. Yeah, which is a problem. But that's... That's a different problem. Okay. Okay. Cutie and I talked via text for like three hours I, until 5.30 in the morning my time. Two hours. Yeah, I was um, wound about up. About what the hell happened. <laughs> like, and like sending screenshots of the app and where she was and like circling things and being like, well, maybe it was this or maybe it was here. What about when you went from this room to this or whatever? Uh, and ended not knowing. Yeah, it was awful. But essentially, yeah, I, I tell this story to throw it out there and be like, would you guys? Re okay. If it was just a noise. Yes, everybody would. Everybody would. You think? Yeah, everybody. If they were in their house alone at night and there was, okay, all women, I don't know how men work, all women, if they were alone in their house at night and there were noises and an alarm that said door open, they would freak out. Okay. Yes. If there wasn't, you should. if there wasn't the alarm, if it was just a noise, I would sit there and I'd wait till my phone went live and then I'd check my cameras and I'd be like, I'm fine. Right. If it was just the alarm, I also think I would wait for my phone and be like, that's weird. Let me check that. But since it was both spontaneously at the same time, which makes me think that it was wind. It was scary. I think if the alarm went off, even if there was no noise, I would freak out. <sighs> I just felt it's bad. It's better safe than sorry. Freak out. Don't let your phone die. Okay. <laughs> Ladies. True. <laughs> also, you know what, that, what I was thinking of while you were telling that is I used to, as a kid... I was really good about having like my parents' phone numbers memorized. That was always really important. Yeah. Because like we didn't have phones. And so you needed to know how to call your mom if something happened. I need to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> like I need to memorize some I still know my parents' phone numbers, but like I need to memorize some numbers here. Yeah. Because I know none you need of some them. Texas Cause numbers. You just, yeah, because you just like have an iPhone and you're like, well, here you go. Yeah. If I was in that situation, I didn't have my phone and I had to run to somebody and they'd be like, Who do I call? I'd be like, I have I have no idea how to reach my boyfriend without my phone. I'd be like, I need you to download Discord real quick. <laughs> we couldn't. I couldn't log into Discord without, oh, right. without two-factor. You just have to plug yeah, in your bad. phone. But if you don't have a phone. But what if I did, physically didn't yeah. have it? And then, like, what if you're at some rando's house and they're like. And then they murder I guess, you. Well, I guess, I guess they would call my dad and then my dad could call my boyfriend. Yeah, I'd call. But, you know, my dad wouldn't freaking like... answer. <laughs> we need a more. We, yeah, we need to. We need to memorize phone numbers. Let's do that. Our my New Year's resolution is to memorize three new phone numbers of people here for my safety. I have some spicy hot drama. Oh God. 
She's okay. scared. Are you ready? I'm scared because I'm having an existential crisis about people, and if it makes me sad, I'm gonna go. Over, I'm gonna cry. No, it's gonna. It's only. It's like Mormon drama. Okay. Okay. So there was this girl that I went to um, high school with, and she was very, very Mormon. Um, okay. So I was. knew all the Mormons because it's just like a small group of us, right? Um, and so you, all the Mormons knew each other, but then everyone in the school, like knew those are the Mormons. Like they were kind of in their own group, except for, I didn't hang out with the Mormons. I tried to hang out with the cool kids, but the cool kids wouldn't let me hang out with them because I was a Mormon. So I, I had leprosy. Um, and <laughs> yeah, cause I can't go to parties because I'll judge them if they're drinking. Cause that's what Mormons right, do. Right, 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 you know? right, right, right. Um, so there's this girl, she was my friend. We'll call her Ashley. She was my good friend for a long time. And then I think we got in a fight over a boy. I don't really remember what we got in a big fight about. And then I was telling my chat this the other day. And then I said the meanest thing that I've probably ever said to anybody. She used to always wear glitter on her as her eyeliner. And I said, the glitter you wear in your eyeliner makes you look like a hooker. Damn. I know. And then she stopped wearing glitter. I know. Isn't that so sad? That's so sad. But I, I feel bad about it still. I've apologized since then. And she actually wears glitter That's now. Nice. Yay. Fixed her. <laughs> so you're welcome. Saved. You're welcome for saying it. I actually saved her during her high school years because she probably wasn't made fun of for wearing glitter. But now she is an oh. adult. So, oh, well. That's really um, nice of you. No, genuinely love. She looks, she's great. It's her thing. She can wear glitter. It's totally fine. She okay. didn't even look okay. like a hooker. She couldn't look like a hooker. And if she did look like a hooker, that's fine because sex workers are hot too. Anyway, <laughs> covering my bases, not offending anybody. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was like our big fight in whatever, I think it was like freshman year or something. And then I kind of went my path in life. She went her path in life and she stuck to the Mormon group. She was so, so Mormon. Mormons have to date within each other, right? Because you can only date someone within the church and each other rule. Okay. It's a big faux okay. pas if you date outside of the church. He okay. dates this guy named like Brian, right? Uh, and he is Brian, Brian, Brian. I'm trying to say the R like you. Brian, 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 <laughs> Brian, 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 Brian. Wait, you say or, it. I can't. Brain, Brian, Brian, Brian. 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 Yeah, that was normal. Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you can say Brian. It however you want. I'm go ahead. Okay. Okay. She's dating Brian. She's dating Brian and he's two years older than her. So he ends up graduating and he ends up going on his mission. See you later. Right. But she's still in high school. So then she starts dating his younger brother that's in our grade. Did Brian know this? Yeah. Were they broken up? Yeah. Okay. They broke up because he went on his mission. So it was like, see you later. Never, ever, ever in a million years. I know. Could I date someone that my sister dated? Yeah. Yeah. So then, fast forward. So missions are two years long. Fast forward, you know, two-ish years. She's dating this brother who Brian's brother is Brandon. She's dating Brandon. We graduate from high school. Brandon goes on his mission. Brian comes back from his mission. She marries Aww. Brian. <laughs> what? Yeah. So she's got to go to like Thanksgiving and, shit yeah. and be like, oh, haha, remember when I swap seed twice? Yeah. With y'all? Yeah. Oh, I don't man, think, no. if I recall correctly, I don't believe the, sec the relationship with the brother was as serious as the first brother. Like it was more like whatever, <laughs> but yeah. It's crazy. Absolutely but she, not. regardless, she, I mean, I will say that's just a Mormon thing. Regardless, she was a very, very sweet girl. Like she was very sweet. Okay. She, I just shouldn't have called her a hooker and she should have been able to date all the brothers she wanted to. No one should have flinched at it. Um, <laughs> anyway, regardless, she's very Mormon. She's the first person in our class to get married out of high school. Okay. First person to get married, first person to get pregnant. She got married like at 18. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Hooray. Right. Yeah. Congratulations. So fast forward, unfortunately, her and her husband get divorced. I thought you couldn't. You're not supposed to. It's very frowned okay. upon in Mormon religion to get divorced. If you get divorced, 
you um uh the man can still go to the celestial go to kingdom hell. but the woman can't i was joking oh damn really yeah Okay. This might have changed, but men can also be sealed to multiple wives. So, like, so in order to go to the Celestial Kingdom, and I could be incorrect, mind you, I wasn't, like, I, it's been a few years since I've been indoctrinated. Um, but if you get, so if you are a male, you may be, so, okay. When you get married in the Mormon church, you have to get married in the temple where you get sealed for all eternity. It's not till death do us part. It's all eternity. You are sealed to somebody. Um and if you get divorced, the issue is churches don't recognize divorce, only legal does, right? So the man, if he gets remarried, he can get sealed again in the temple to a different wife. However, the wife will never be able to get sealed again to a different man. So technically, that technically so in the afterlife, my dad, who is alive right now, but if he dies, um, he is sealed to my stepmother and he is still sealed to my mother. So he would get both wives in heaven. And my stepdad who married my mom will get no wife in heaven because they never got married through the temple. They only got married. Okay. That's okay. Anyway, so bit of a bummer there. However, um, so she gets divorced. Very sad. Turns out like the guy sucked. Um, yeah. And then I'm at dinner. I'm at dinner with some of my, um, cause I'm back home. Obviously I'm in Washington right now and I'm at dinner with some of my guy friends. Um, these are the boys that these are like, these are like the good friends that they have now been, we've been friends for almost, I don't know how old I am. I don't know. 15 years, right? We've we've known each other for so long. We've known each other since elementary school, like so long. Mm -hmm. I've known these guys. Mm -hmm. And um and we're talking to them and I bring up Ashley because randomly Ashley was in California recently. She was like posting that she was at Disneyland and I was like, "You know what? I need to like I need more girlfriends in my life. Ashley and I used to be close. Let me text her. So I text her. I was like, hey, I see you're at Disneyland with your parents because she was with her parents because her mm -hmm. her daughter, because the divorce, her daughter was with uh, the dad or whatever. Okay. So she was in Disneyland living her best life. And I was like, maybe she wants some girl time. Maybe she wants to hang out. Maybe it would just be fun to catch up. Right. Like whatever. And I happened to be going to Disneyland with my brother and sister that had flown in for their anniversary. And so I text her. I'm like, hey, I would love to see you. I saw that you're in California, uh, blah, blah, blah. And so we meet up and um, I was like, how have you been? What's been going on? And she's very like, doesn't say much, right? Uh, but she's like, I was like, have you seen anyone from high school? And she's like, oh, I've seen um, Kevin. And Kevin is one of my good, good friends. Uh, mm -hmm. And she's like, I saw Kevin. We kind of caught up and like hung out and I was like oh like hung out hung out and Kevin is not Mormon like at all like he's the furthest thing from it um and I was like oh hung out hung out and she's like uh not really like you know I just invited him over and we just like chatted for a little bit and then he went home mm -hmm. I was like okay and that's all I knew of it it was still like a weird like what a weird situation what a weird crossing of stars that they were in the same room and like why would Kevin go to like very Mormon Ashley's house that's so interesting um so fast forward to over the weekend i'm at dinner with kevin and a few of my guy friends ludwig's there and catching up talking all the shit and so i say i say to kevin i was like oh my gosh were you ever gonna tell us that like you and ashley like went on a like date or you went over to our house and he was like oh no like i didn't think it was a big deal and i was like she said like you know like it was like flirty or something like that and he was like is that all she said and i was like yeah, and he was like, oh, well, actually, we'll tell you the rest on the Patreon. <laughs> oh! Because it's crazy. She's pregnant. We'll see you there. Like and subscribe.